We arrive to devastation in every direction. At this hotel that collapsed during the earthquake, rescuers are using sniffer dogs in their desperate search for dozens of people still trapped in the rubble. So as long as the dogs are barking, you're going to keep looking. Yes. Yes. But there is so much rubble to search here. Satellite images show how the earthquake and tsunami altered the landscape. Buildings before and after. The town's entire coastline swallowed by the sea. The powerful quake, an 18-foot wall of water, striking with little to no warning. Some homes just floating away. Today we felt aftershocks. There have been hundreds so far. And at the airport as we came in, scores of people were getting out, wounded and weary, boarding military planes to be evacuated from here. Days after disaster struck, aid is still only trickling in to a place running urgently low on everything. Little is known about dozens of villages where 280,000 people are cut off. Police are protecting aid convoys from looters. People here are desperate. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.